e-commerce store owner and want to expand your store into large online marketplaces but most of the time you find it difficult to list your products and sometimes when you do that it gets rejected are you looking for the easy solution to promote your products then you can try the plugin product pin manager for woocommerce with product pin manager you can list your products in 170 plus online marketplaces in three simple clicks hey everyone this is sadia from product pin manager and today i'm gonna give you a quick overview of the plugin product pin manager for woocommerce so let's get started currently i'm on my wordpress dashboard once you have installed and activated the plugin, you'll see the product feed icon over here. Here you'll get all the important options. Now to create a new feed, click on the add new feed option. It will take you to this feed configuration page. Here if you want, you can set a feed title. Now from the drop down, select the merchant where you want to promote your products. Let's say Google Shopping. Once you select it, you'll see all the required attributes are automatically listed. On the left side, you'll see the attributes that Google requires you to promote there. And here you'll see the values that will come from your WooCommerce store. As you can see, almost all the attributes are already configured, so you don't need to worry much. You just need to assign values to any unmapped attributes. For example, the manufacturer brand. This should be your brand name. So if you have any brand value saved in your WooCommerce store, you'll select the value from this drop down. But if you're the sole manufacturer, you have to select this option aesthetic and give your company name here. Let's check the category mapping attribute. With the category mapping feature, you can map your WooCommerce product categories according to the Google product categories and help your products to appear in more relevant searches. As you can see in the feed, for the Google product category attribute, a default category mapper is already selected. You can configure this category mapping or use a new category map. To configure this category map, click on the configure category mapping option. It will take you to this category mapping configuration page. Here you will configure the category map. Or if you want, you can create a new category map over here and select the map from the drop down. Right now, I'm just using the default one. Product Feed Manager has some amazing filters and customization options to optimize your feed for the best results. If you go to the Product Filter option, you'll see these filters. Using these product filters, you can decide which products you want to promote on your merchant site by excluding or including products from the feed based on category, tag, or any condition you want. Alright? If you want, you can manually select products for including or excluding. Apart from excluding or including products in the feed, you can also apply rules to your feed. With this feed rules, you can replace an attribute with another attribute or you can also use a static value for them. Now, if you go to the settings option, you'll see the auto generate your feed option. This option lets you to set auto feed update intervals according to your preferred time. Below, there are other important options which you can see are already configured, but you can always change them if you need to. So once you are done with the filters and settings configuration, it's time to publish your feed. For that, click on the publish button and it will start generating. Normally the feed generation duration depends on how much products you have. Once the loading is done, your feed is ready. You can now download the feed, copy the feed link and view the feed. Let's view the feed. Now the next step is to submit your feed to your desired merchant. For other merchants, you need to upload your feed to your merchant account. For Google, you can manually upload the feed to your Google Merchant Center account or you can use our AutoSync with Google feature to send your feed directly from our plugin. For that, you have to do an easy configuration. Just go to the Google Merchant Settings tab. 
Here you need to authenticate or plug in with your Google Merchant Center account. Collect the credentials from your Google Merchant Center account and configure it over here. And then you can submit your feed directly from here. Guess what? Manager has many more functions so that you can optimize your feed. And it's specifically designed to make it as simple as possible. You can literally start from zero and create the perfect feed in some simple steps. Sounds great? Try the plugin Collective Manager for WooCommerce and see the results yourself.